Hello, dear viewers. Hello, dear participants of the Savalmash project. Savalmash will make an official statement today. But before we get to this part of the video, let's remember what the main goal of the Savalmash project is. So, the main goal of the project is commercializing intellectual property in the field of developing electric rotating induction machines created using the combined winding technology Slavyanka. And this is truly global, important, complex and interesting task. But in order to start implementing it, we need to complete a number of other tasks and challenges that will help us achieve the main goal. One of the main objectives is creating Savalmash Design and Engineering Technology Department located on the territory of the Special Economic Zone, Technopolis, Moscow. The Labashev side, near Zelenograd. And it would seem this is just one task. But today, almost all the efforts of Savalmash are put into the implementation of this task. In the course of taking this task, a number of other equally important and significant tasks are being completed too. Let's remember what we have already done by now. I think that each of you understands that putting the D&E department, design and engineering technology department, into operation is not a simple procedure. This is a complex structure where engineers work and where tests and research must be carried out the prototypes and pilot batches of the future electric motors must be created. And in order to train the staff, to create the workflow methodology the staff are to be guided by, to prepare the technology database, the necessary equipment, machine units, tooling and so forth, you need to conduct a range of preparatory activities. Therefore, in this regard, Certain capacities have already been organized on the temporary released premises, allowing us to elaborate all of these processes we have discussed in every possible detail. A miniature version of those capacities that will be divided into the areas of the future D&E department has been created. And all these activities are related only to the development part of the technology, equipment and personnel. But in order to go to the construction on the territory of the Special Economic Zone, we had to become its residents at the very least. And this event took place in 2019. We signed the official agreement confirming the fact of Sovelmos obtaining the resident status of the Special Economic Zone, Technopolis, Moscow. In our turn, we leased the land plot with the subsequent right to purchase it. The next step was preparing the project documentation for the future D&E department and that was implemented as well. All the project documentation was elaborated to the smallest detail. And today, this is the documentation that will be used for further construction. But in order to start the construction, it was necessary to pass all the state examinations. I think a lot of you know that this is not a single examination. This is the kind of work that takes a huge amount of time. And by now, all the state examinations have been passed successfully. And now, we come to the heart of the matter. A lot of you have been looking forward to this milestone event for the Savalmash project. The construction permit application was submitted. This is a document that will enable full-fledged implementation of the capacities that have been created and deployed on our land plot. Namely, the construction camp with all the temporary facilities, dining facilities, washing stations and all the necessary engineering utilities. Technically, it will allow us to start the main part of the construction process. And only one document is the main stumbling block. And by now, Savalmash has worked out all the comments we received. And on October 15th, the construction permit was obtained thanks to the work of all the involved Savalmash team members. 
we are expressing our deep gratitude to the employees of the Capital Construction Department, because these people were the fighters on the invisible battlefield and achieved the sad goal. The permit has been issued. Hooray, comrades! Congratulations to all the participants of the project on behalf of the company Sovelmos. If you think that it will be easier for us from now on, I think you are mistaken. This document gives access to an infinite number of adventures that we have ahead of us. But this is exactly what we wanted. So now I'd like to ask each of you to repose this video, tell your friends, colleagues and everyone who cares about the Sovelmash project about it. Each of you can follow the link in the description below this video to visit the official website mos.ru, the official website of the mayor of the city of Moscow. Next, you need to go to the document section, find the construction permit module, select the item construction permit issued in 2020, open page 78 and find the item ZLAO. Then we can read Moscow, ZLAO, Silano. Zelengrad territory of the CZ Technopolis Moscow land plot number 16. Alabushev side, Silino district, Zelenograd administrative district of Moscow. The innovative center for designing of technology development and organization of pilot production of energy efficient combined winding induction motors and generators and their control systems. Triple O, Savalmash, limited liability company. Number so and so, dated as of 15 10 2020. This is the official source where you can find out that the construction permit has been issued. Please subscribe to our social media. We have a lot of work ahead of us and we have something to say. See you again. Have a great weekend.